Welcome back everybody, A Pink Lemon here, wondering what if a Beyblade Stadium could evolve? What do I mean by that? Well, if you've seen any of my videos, which I hope you have, but if even if you have, you're probably in the almost 80% of my viewers that haven't subscribed. So to make sure that you don't miss out on any future content, especially with my Beyblade X order on the way right now, make sure you subscribe. It's free and it helps out the channel a lot. Anyways, if you haven't seen any of my videos, I've been making Metal Fight Beyblade videos with a Beyblade Burst Stadium because I couldn't get my hands on an authentic BB-10 Metal Fight Stadium. And this stadium practically has the same design with some minor differences. As the pockets allow Beyblades to re-enter the stadium even after potential knockouts, it has higher walls and it's larger overall. As well as not delivering the authentic Metal Fight experience. Well, today, all of that changes because I have recently received these. Portal Zero's Beyblade Burst to Metal Fight Stadium Converters. These are a set of three 3D printed walls that slot neatly, with some help, into the three holes on a Beyblade Burst Stadium to effectively turn it into a BB-10 Stadium. I've got the mega size walls because the regular size ones are absolutely tiny. And wow, just look at the difference. Look, I can actually get my launcher in there and that ugly rim isn't on camera anymore. Overall, this just feels so much more open and these just feel so right. So in honor of this new stadium, we're going to do three battles with some of my favorite evolutions from across the channel. First to five points wins. So without further ado, let these battles begin and let's christen this new stadium. Our first battle is going to be a clash between my two favorite evolutions on the channel so far. Flash Sagittario, Claw 145, Spike Ball, and Hades Ares, Eternal Defense 130, Jog Ball. Sagittario possesses powerful counterattack, being a rare counterattacking stamina type. Meanwhile, Ares has some potent head-on offense that Sagittario might not be able to handle in this more open stadium. Flash Sagittario will be staying in stamina mode. After being knocked around for a while, Sagittario finally succumbs to a clean knockout from Hades Ares, making the score now 1-0. And after a tense stamina competition, Harry's Ares' extra LED gives it just enough spin to win with a sleep out. The score is now 2-0. to zero. And even though it comes down to stamina once again, Ares manages to get underneath Sagittario, causing it to scrape and winning with a sleep out. The score is now 3-0. Sagittario manages to use the walls to its advantage and wins with a knockout. The score is now 3-1. After getting knocked around a bit, Sagittario manages to hold its ground and wins with a sleep out. The score is now 3-2.
Aries manages to get underneath Sagittario yet again and wins with another sleep out, making the score now 4-2. And with another clean knockout, Ares wins the match. Wow, what a great showcase of the new stadium. Ordinarily, Sagittaria would be able to use its shape to ricochet itself back out of a pocket, but it's able to do no such thing here. Nor is it able to counterattack effectively due to Ares not being offensive enough, meaning it got whittled down and ultimately lost. Our second battle features a returning opponent back from the dead. Eagle-eyed viewers may have noticed that in the last video, Varieris made a brief cameo, and that's because Varieris is back. For those who don't know, my old Varieris broke, and you guys voted that it should be replaced by Spiral Capricorn. But now that I've bought a new one, I thought that it would only be fair to decide which one of these bays gets to appear in videos more often by seeing who reigns supreme in a head-to-head -head battle. Varieris will be starting in defense mode. Barrieris lands a counterattack that sends Capricorn flying out of the stadium, making the score now 1-0. After a flurry of barrages, Capricorn finally lands a knockout, making the score now 1-0. Extremely high recoil hits, Capricorn is knocked out once again, making the score now 2 to 1. Capricorn's attempts at tornado stalling are cut short, and it's knocked out of the stadium yet again, making the score now 3 to 1. Barrieris is switching into attack mode. And after not being able to catch up to each other racing around the stadium, Very Eris manages to land an upper attack on Capricorn that sends it flying over the walls of the stadium, making the score now 4-1. Capricorn quickly takes advantage of Very Eris' opposite spin and wins with a knockout, making the score now 4-2. And after getting hit, Capricorn uses the wall to its advantage, ricocheting off of it and knocking out Varieris, making the score now 4 to 3. Both bays are sent flying in a double knockout, making the score still 4 to 3. Barrieris somehow manages to land a counterattack that sends Spiral Capricorn scraping around the stadium, winning the match with a sleep out of all things. Damn, it was fantastic being able to see these two powerhouses finally go head to head, especially in a larger stadium like this. And man, it really seemed like Capricorn was gunning for an unexpected comeback. Unfortunately, its superior stamina meant nothing in the face of Barrieris' superior attack power. Finally, viewers, you are in store for a lightweight clash, as we're going to be battling our Meteo El Drago upgrade Meteo Assault Gravity Ball 145 Extreme Flat against our Fang Leon Defense 125 Metal Ball Evolution to see who is the superior lightweight combo. Fang Leon will be staying in counter mode.
And after being knocked completely off balance for the majority of the round, Fang Leon finally succumbs to El Drago's spin stealing and loses with a sleep out. The score is now 0 to 1. With Fang Leon off balance and unable to counterattack, Meteo Assault wins with another sleep out, making the score 0 to 2. Fang Leon finally lands a quick knockout, making the score now 1 to 2. Meteor Assault managed to get Leon so off balance it actually scraped the stadium, causing heavy stamina loss and easily delivering it a victory with a sleep out. The score is now 1-3. And somehow, through its high recoil, Fang Leon actually manages to wear down Meteor Assault enough to win with a sleep out, making the score now 2-3. to three. Meteor Assault lands a very quick knockout, making the score now 2-4. to four. Fang Leon returns the favor with a quick knockout of its own, making the score now 3-4. to four. Fang Leon, having now started using its imbalance to its advantage, manages to get underneath Meteo Assault and land a knockout, making the score now 4 all. Fang Leon, once again using its imbalance to its advantage, manages to scrape the stadium and jump into Meteor Assault to land a knockout, winning the match. Wow, now there's the comeback I was looking for. It really seemed like Fang Leon was a goner, being constantly knocked over and having no way to fight back against El Drago's spin stealing, but in a surprise twist, it managed to use its imbalance to land some stunning upper attacks on El Drago and take the victory. Wow, those battles just feel so much cleaner in this new stadium. Although getting the sound just right might take some time, this stadium is most definitely an improvement. It's easier to launch in, easier to film in, and the walls don't make that awful rattling noise when they get hit. And the open air above the stadium allows for knockouts like this one with Capricorn that just weren't possible before. Huge shout out to commenter and Discord user Gabe for drawing my attention to this product, and of course Portal Zero for making them, because they are going to revolutionize future videos, and I literally wouldn't have ever found them otherwise. These are insanely helpful for a low budget creator such as myself, but I'd like to know what you guys think. Should these become our default stadium, or does the old fashioned burst stadium still have some potential uses? Let me know in the comments below, and as always, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe for more future content. Until next time, I've been a Pink Lemon, and I hope you have a great day.